Hello everyone, my name is Chen Liu. I'm currently an assistant professor in Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. Um, first, I'd like to thank the organizers to give me this opportunity to present my work. Today, I will talk about CWL-enabled reusable and reproducible genomic data management and analysis in R. For outline, I will first talk about the bioinformatics data analysis with a focus of computational reproducibility. And then I will talk about the CWL use in bioinformatics with its advantages and challenges. And lastly, I will talk about the CWL in R by presenting three bioconductor packages, RCWL, RCWL pipelines, and reuse data. A typical data and analytics flow includes two main parts. The pre-processing part for data cleaning and curation, and the modeling statistical analysis part for data analysis. For example, for whole genome sequencing data, we need to do some quality check, map the sequences to the reference genome, and do some variant calling. These steps are usually based on command line tools, such as FASTQC, BWA, GATK, etc. When we get a set of candidate variants from whole genome sequencing data, we will need to annotate the variants with their functions and then do some filtering to remove those common variants and only retain those that are specific to your study. These parts are usually done using R Conductor or Python. We would like to have more consistent and reproducible data analysis so that everyone will be on the same page. The computational reproducibility is the ability to obtain consistent computational results using the same input data, computational steps, methods, code, and conditions of analysis. High computational reproducibility would facilitate collaboration and review process, promote your work efficiency by avoiding any misinformation and duplicate work, and ensure the continuity. However, there are many challenges. People may work on diverse computing environments. For the OS, HPC managers, and cloud platforms, and complex software dependencies can easily cause installation conflicts. These issues are very common in the data preprocessing steps, which are mostly based on command line tools. CWL provides a simple and well-defined format in the biology field specifically to automate complex analysis such as DNA calling, RNA sequencing, and genome assembly. CWL makes use of software management system such as bio containers to solve the software installation conflicts and Docker to containerize all software that are related to run a specific workflow. It can provide a common language in pipeline development in bioinformatics analysis and promote the efficiency and improve the reproducibility of any data analysis. With all the advantages of using a workflow language, however, there are some intrinsic challenges using them. First, the CWL is a command line based language which involves a non trivial learning curve for researchers, even for skilled data analysts. And second, the CWL um, mainly deals with the command line tools which are typically involved in pre-processing steps. It doesn't support the integration with downstream statistical analysis tools such as R or conductor packages or functions. So any reproducibility issues in the modeling part can now be taken care of by CWL. In order to address these challenges in using CWL and provide a convenient interface for our users to take advantage of CWL, we have developed two bioconductor packages, RCWL and RCWL pipelines. I will show you how to use and develop CWL pipelines in R, and further, we have developed reuse data, which uses the CWL in R2 for reproducible and reusable genomic data management. First, we've developed a robust and scalable R conductor interface for the common workflow language. Based on that, we have also developed the RCW pipelines to catalog a set of commonly used and emerging bioinformatics tools into reproducible RCW pipelines. It currently includes more than 250 pre-built tools and pipelines that are ready to be queried and used in R. Here we show you the usage of these two packages. The color blocks stand for R function names. 
Basically, users will start with the RCW pipelines to search for the required tools that are previously based on command line interface or an R package, and then load and use them directly using R programming language. One can also build their own set of tools and contribute to the RCW pipelines repository. The whole data analysis workflow, including both pre-processing and data modeling steps, then can be executed within R. The visualization of data analysis pipelines are also supported. For a quick comparison, we take one example of using STAR to index a reference genome and show you three different ways of using it in your data analysis for comparison. The first way is the traditional way of using STAR in the command line interface. You start through CWL and how to use STAR through RCWL. For the traditional way, first we need to download and compile the software tool. Then in most cases, we will write up an on-premise batch script to define the inputs, outputs. If you work on an HPC, we need to configure the workflow management too. There can be different challenges for reproducibility, such as the software installation issues, version tracking, etc. The whole process requires much of the human intervention, which makes the whole process time-consuming and error-prone. CWL solves most of these issues. Basically, we write up a CWL script to specify the base command of the tool requirements, inputs, and outputs. Here, it puts the Docker image of a specific version of that tool, which solves the software installation issues. You can also connect different tools by passing the inputs and outputs. And then we write a YAML file to assign values to the input and outputs for that tool. And lastly, you need to have a CWL runner to have your job submitted. Here we do need to download and install that runner. As we can see, it is very useful and convenient to streamline your data analysis. However, it does involve much work and expertise, especially for regular R users. Here we provide an alternative way of using CWL in the R environment. First, we install and load the R package, and you can take advantage of the CWL functionalities and conveniences by using normal R functions. First, we can search and load the pre-built tools pipelines into the R session and then assign values to the defined input and output parameters. We can then submit the job, which are internally submitted as CWL scripts, but you don't need to worry about the installation of CWL runners. Going further, we have pre-built more than 200 commonly used bioinformatics tools and pipelines that are ready to be queried and used directly in R through the RCWL pipelines functions. So if you are more of an R person and want to take advantage of the CWL and keep everything inside R for the whole project, here I would recommend you to try the RCWL and RCWL pipelines. RCWL provides functionalities if you want to build new tools and pipelines in your research area. Here are some basic functions to define the inputs, outputs, tools, steps, and pipelines. There are also more advantage fun or advanced functions to fine tune your tool. Here I also included two links for the raw scripts of defining star index and star solo as a reference. On our project website, rcwl.org, we have included web pages for each of the previewed tools and pipelines, which includes a diagram of the tool, the inputs and output parameters, and tool steps that are included in for um, pipeline. It will be helpful to browse before you dive into the R packages. RCWL has also been applied successfully to cloud computing platforms such as Anvil, Kvatica, and Cancer Genomics Cloud based on different working environments such as interactive apps or of RStudio and workflow methods of CWL Widow. We have also developed an R package called RCWL Cloud so that RCWL and RCWL pipelines can be easily applied on the cloud computing platforms. To summarize, here we provide an interface of CWL in our programming environment and more than 200 pre-built tools and workflows that are highly customizable. It integrates common bioinformatics tools that are either command line based or R packages and also the validated best practice workflows. The internal implementation uses CWL and software management tools such as Docker and Conda to take care of any potential reproducibility issues. And lastly, our project is open source and open development. 
which welcomes any contribution. Next, I introduce you another BLC package, reuse data. Going back to the data analytics flow, a data analysis starts with data and different kinds of data will be involved. Firstly, and most importantly, the experiment data, such as the RNA-seq data from your lab. Then there's reusable genomic data resources, such as the reference genome, gene or variant annotation files. As these data resources will be used repeatedly in different experiments and projects. However, different issues can exist to prohibit the reuse of this data. For example, there can be uh, disordered data files and uh, lack of tracking of data versions or the software versions for data preprocessing. And also there can be redundant files or duplicate copies. To address these concerns, we have developed reuse data for reusable and reproducible data management with the aim to improve data reusability and reproducibility for reusable genomic data resources by taking advantage of common workflow language. We have reimagined the two recipes in RCWL and make them as data recipes, which are centered on the data processing and reproducible generation. Multiple tools might be involved for this process, so essentially the data recipe is a workflow recipe with additional handling of meta information for the data. Reuse data also features the shareable curated data sets, which are fully annotated and easy to share with your lab mates and other researchers. The data recipes and curated data can be easily applied in your local data analysis and cloud computing platform. Here we show an example of the reference genome, which will be used by all DNA-seq or RNA-seq analysis. In traditional way, we'll first download the data do some data preprocessing. Here we index the reference genome, and then we save a copy of index um, reference genome locally and use them in different projects. There can be many challenges in data management. Without an efficient strategy for local data management, these files can be disordered, hard to find, and even redundant from repeated downloading due to lack of tracking of meta information, such as the source URLs and versions, etc. Individual research laboratories or shared facilities may process many different experiments with the similar analysis workflow, so the repeatedly processing the same data in similar way results in substantial inefficiencies and wasted computing resources. The reproducibility of analysis pipelines involving these data files is also hampered. Using reuse data could help solve these problems. The use of our reuse data is very similar to the RSW pipelines. Install the package, and then we can search for any pre-built data recipes. Uh, we will then evaluate the recipe and generate a local copy of the same data that is fully annotated and tra trackable. The data will be managed with easy search and query. Multiple data sets can be grouped together for a specific task, for example, to pass to the Mutech 2 software. They can be easily converted into JSON or YML file to work with different workflow languages, such as CWL or WIDO. On our project website, we presented some data recipes for some commonly used data resources, such as the leftover file from Ensemble. Each data recipe comes with a separate web page showing the data curation steps, inputs, outputs, and evaluate evaluable code chunks to use the data recipe. To summarize, today I presented you three RBIO conductor packages for reusable and reproducible genomic data management and analysis. The RCW pipelines and RCWL are tools centered for reproducible bioinformatics data analysis and the reuse data is more data centered for reproducible and reusable genomic data resources. All the packages are CWL based recipes and which can be used in a unified R environment for your whole data analysis, including the pre-processing and the modeling. And there's an easy conversion between the RCWL tools and the CWL scripts. And these packages will give you the provenances for the data or tools, and we have pre-built more than 200 tools and workflows and about 20 
template data recipes ready for you to query and use in the R programming environment. Thank you for your attention. I'm happy to take any questions.